Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video today. And today, uh, we're gonna just do some work for the or on the snow blower and uh, the snow plow. So this was our second snowfall of the year, but today was our actual first snowfall where there's enough snow where I could actually go plow and shovel and all that good stuff. So this morning, me and Emmy went out. We started at 4 a.m. And we got done at 9 uh, a.m. So only five hours, but knocked out everyone in that time. So that was awesome. Got all that done. And now when I was plowing, I kind of seen some things uh, wrong with the snow plow. Um, the feet on the snow plow, if you know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, I'll show you later in the video. But the feet on the plow, they were like pretty much set for a... Uh, gravel so people that plow gravel they have those feet so it the blade don't scoop up the gravel so the guy i bought it from i asked him i'm like you know like uh, what can i do to take these off or whatever how can i fix this so it scrapes better and he just said uh, if i'm doing mostly concrete and asphalt and stuff i can just take the feet off which i think uh I was gonna just, you know, raise them up so they were still on, but uh, I might just take them off since I'm mostly doing concrete. I mean, there's a few areas where I push the snow into a gravel uh, part of the driveway or area. And so not too many gravel places that I need, so I might just take them off. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video, as well as uh, fixing the snow blower handle. Um, I'll show you guys what's wrong with the snow blower when I get there. There's what she looked like. Got it done this morning. So let's head over to the shed. So this is all it is. It's just this right here. Um, this part was in there just itself without that guy on. And I noticed it and I didn't like it. I mean, it still worked perfectly fine. I just didn't want to lose this part right here in the snow or on the sidewalk somewhere so I couldn't fix it. So I loaded that guy back up. I put this part in my pocket and then I just used this guy for the rest of the time. But I got the other part to make this thing go and tighten up. So we're going to do that so I can use it for the next snowfall. Let's go. All done so now it's a lot more sturdy and ready to go for the next snowfall so that's one task down and on to the next let's put this guy back in the shed and store it up um last night I went to Blaine's uh, I got this salt spreader or seed spreader um, cause my local dealer, he didn't have the salt spreader in stock yet because the shipping is slow or, you know, something like that. So I went, bought this, it was like 40 bucks, just something cheap and easy to use. Um, came assembled so I didn't have to mess with that, but it worked out this morning. So that's good. And it doesn't look like it's going to snow for another week or so. So. I should be able to get the other salt spreader before the next snow, which will be nice. And maybe I just use this one as a backup in case the other one breaks. But let's put this guy back in here. Let's stop talking and let's go take the feet off the plow. Alrighty, so I got this box I'm going to be putting the feet in. This box is pretty much all my plow stuff, you know, extra wiring. Um, whatever the heck these are but pretty much just extra parts so i'm just going to be putting the feet 
those guys in here and then I'm going to be putting all the small stuff in these bags right here as well as putting them in there so everything's organized and I know where everything is so I'm going to show you guys what we are taking off and how once I get down here so this you just flip over you pull out and then uh, well you got to raise this at the same time so you can pull this out but then all these guys will come off this will drop out and this lower two or three will come off too so then I'll just take this pin and these washers out put them in the bag clean this up so I can put it in the box and then I will repeat the same process to the other side um, I'm gonna record it for you as well just so in the future if I need or if I want to put these back on I know roughly how many washers were on each uh, top and bottom of each side which they should be the same so I am gonna record it for you guys to show you um, and also to show myself in the future if I'm looking to put these back on but I will speed up the process for you guys so it's not super boring so let's get these off Okay, so the first foot is off of the plow, and I honestly could have just done something like this. Well, no, that that's still scrape probably, but I was just gonna leave it on so I didn't have to bother taking it off. But it would still, you know, mess up how the blade scrapes. So I'm just gonna take it off. There's what it looks like. And let me show you here. So here's the foot. I'm gonna clean that guy off. Two spacers on the bottom. And I think it's seven on the top, I wanna say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven on the top, two on the bottom. Got the pin and the foot. So let's move to the other side. So I went to lower the plow to show you guys the foot versus the non-foot and how this is gonna be up just a teeny bit more. But I get down here and there's no foot. So, huh. Well, all right, I guess. So let's just take this off. There we go. That's weird. Whatever. I'm gonna have to lift the plow up to let it come down. But one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's not good either. There's only six on the top. There's seven on the top over there. So, let's lift the plow up. Huh. That's strange. Didn't know I... I probably should have looked at that when I bought the plow. But, I also didn't know much about plows. So I didn't even think of to look at the feet of the plow. But, this guy came out. Huh. Anyways, the feet are out. Plow is good. And let's lower this plow so you guys can see 
what it looks like when it's all the way down and against the ground and hopefully it scrapes a lot better so that is very nice I mean give or take these corners or whatever but most of the time I have them scooping anyways or at this angle I guess but they're scooping anyways most of the time so I'm not really going to be plowing or using the blade all the way out here so that's fine my main worry was that I'm almost tempted to put this one foot back on to see how much of a change it is you know what that's what we're gonna do I ain't got much planned today so let's do it let's raise the plow up there we go let's put this foot back on and let's see if there's a difference and if so how much of a difference okay the foot's back on let's see how much of a difference this is all right foot's down so let's look holy crap so no foot no foot and then look at what the foot's starting to do I mean yeah that's about you know my finger but you don't want when, or at least an eye plow I don't want a finger height of snow on the driveway I want as much as I possibly can get off and if that is causing what's not making it scrape the best I'm taking it off unless for some reason I come across a big gravel gravel place I need to plow then well I'm gonna have to get an extra foot but also throw them on as well so maybe if I have a big gravel place coming up or in the future or whatever I might just take two extra feet along with me in the truck so I can quickly throw them on do the job and then take it back off but that's crazy how much of a difference that is it might not look like a big difference on the camera but trust me in person it's a lot so I don't like that let's raise the plow up and take that guy off so And then after I take this back off, uh, I'll set you guys up and I'll also show you uh, me controlling it, what the controls do, all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in the same kind of plow, uh, it's a Fisher plow, so I don't know if you guys are interested, but if you are, I'll show you what the buttons do, what the controller does, all that good stuff. So let's take this off. Okay, so I got the inside view of the truck now. Um, I'm gonna go in the same order I did when I did out there. So the first one was scoop right here. You just hold it. 
and it'll go. And then to get it back in, you just press uh, retract right here. And it goes back in. Wing, uh, the left side wing, you just push the button. It goes out. To get it back in, you just hold the same button. To do the other one, same process. Then obviously, to turn the blade, lift it up, turn it right, drop it. So, very cool. Um, the float up here, some people like, which I like as well. Um, if you hold it down, it'll turn green. But when I'm plowing, pretty much I always had the controller in my hand. So I know when it says float, you can let go. But most of the time, I always catch myself holding the button down still with my thumb while I'm driving. I don't know why, but I just catch myself doing that. So, uh, yeah, that's very nice float mode. Uh, all plows have it. Um, but this is very nice uh, plow. Um, I got it serviced before this winter. Uh, one light was out, so I got that fixed too. But other than that, it's a great plow. Um, I do like how it has the wing. I, I also like how it can go from eight feet uh, out to 10 feet. Also how it can scoop. So uh, that's all I've got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully if you have a plow and you don't know why it's scraping weird, maybe take the feet off. Um, I could see how this is gonna scrape 10 times better. Um, so I'm actually excited for the next snowstorm. Um, but yeah uh thank you guys for watching uh subscribe like and leave a comment on what kind of plow do you run other than that have a good day y'all